Hi everyone. This is World Primate Sanctuary. Second time doing YouTube. So rather experimental for me. But I'd like to just show you quickly, quickly what my office looks like. Right, first of all, that's my first monkey that I started the sanctuary with, which is Gizmo. And many, many years ago when I was there at the veterinary clinic, I just walked in there to go and say hello to all the hospital, all the hospital monkeys, feeling sorry for them because they're sick. And I just walked in and gave them some sweeties, asked the vet if I could. And uh, that's how I started and I was offered a job there. And then from there it escalated. But this squirrel monkey became my first monkey that I, that I actually had. Just like everyone else, went to the pet shop, loved the squirrel monkey, bought it, fell in love with it, got bitten many, many times. Um, and, but anyway, I then got her a mate. And, and that's how it started. When I came back from the Amazon jungle, I actually went to the Amazon jungle twice. When I came back, I fell in love, so in love with these monkeys. And I realized in South Africa, there is certainly a need, a need to educate, a need to give a good home, a need just to look after the best, the best I possibly can. So as a result, I went flat out, flat out to the newspapers and media and TV to try to help these monkeys. Here is a picture of a monkey that had severe rickets. Um, as you can see, obviously did not walk. The hind legs totally bent from a lack of nutrition and a lack of sunlight, kept in a small cage. Here are pamphlets. This is what we do. Education, caring, night, day, 24-7, literally. We've just come back this weekend from um, a fundraising. Didn't, didn't, didn't raise much money, but at, the, but at the same time, what we did do is we, we, we projected the word. So we, we got people to realize that these guys uh, may look cute, but uh, once being bitten, you know all about it. Here's my first edition many years ago. Second edition, that took me an extra two years to do. And this one took me an extra four years to do. I'm now on my, my fourth edition. So from the first one, that took me six years, two years, and another couple of years after that. Quite a few years after that. Here I am with a baby chimp, helping out at the zoos. And here many years ago, those were my little monkeys that I went to a pet shop and I bought. I felt sorry. Oh gee, now I bought one and I left the other one there at the pet shop. So I went back and took a loan on my credit card and bought the other one, feeling really sorry for it. Just like most people. Here I am in the cage, cleaning the cage and interacting with the capuchin monkeys. We do rescue everything from marmosets, tamarind, squirrel monkeys um, and, and capuchin monkeys. And of course now and then we also get birds and snakes and s spiders every now and then coming into the sanctuary. Before that I did um, basic electronics. So that I can see to my own electronics. Very expensive if you go and call an electrician or do basic stuff. When it becomes really, really complicated, yeah, then no doubt you have to call the expertise. I've always done karate, so I got to my second dan. And then I started a dojo again years ago. Then I decided to do fitness and nutrition. And with this, I've actually helped and I've come a long way to help the monkeys too. Because as a vegan vegetarian, it doesn't matter. I can I enjoy cooking and, 
and 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 just just giving them the absolute perfect nutrition that I possibly can. And then this is just a little bit of extra things that I like to do in the past when in my young twenties: parabating, micro lighting, scuba diving, and hang gliding. So, in a nutshell, this is basically my little office where people come and they ask me for advice. Anybody can phone me up and they can come through, make an appointment, and then come through and ask me advice on their monkeys. In Gauteng, we are the only province in South Africa that you don't need a permit or a license for. I believe that it's simply because so many of these people actually have them. So many people have them in Gauteng, Johannesburg and Pretoria area. And unfortunately, this has led to a problem, a problem where it's very, very difficult for the authorities to actually um, keep tracks of exactly what's happening. Very difficult. So as an educationist and a founder of World Primary Sanctuary, I've actually decided to take it upon myself to go out there and spread the word. Spread the word and help people in order to help monkeys. Thank you very much and we look forward to the next edition. Cheerio, Wayne McLeod.